Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to make use of the new feature in Agile Point NX on demand cloud where you can have a custom database provision along with any trial tenant where customers or prospects can create their own tables for lookups as well as for saving data as part of the process flow. This functionality is only available as part of Agile Point NX trials. If a customer wants to take this to development or production server, uh, salespeople will have to quote additional price for the additional database like they have been doing. So, so if you go to settings, tenant settings, so you have to be logged in as the tenant administrator. So if you scroll down, you'll see a new section over here called custom databases. Production clients can have more than one custom databases as well and you would have seen multiple rows over here. In trial tenants, we give you only one additional uh, blank database. As of now, it is a blank database. Under this section, it has two subsections. The first section tells you how to connect uh, to this custom database from within Agile Point NX, that is within the Agile Point NX portal which you will be doing through the access token. So what you will see is here is the database name. It has the name of your tenant at the beginning. Here is the whole connection string, which we'll go ahead and copy in and paste in one of our notepads. And here is the default scheme. So I'll come back to the schema in a minute, but let's look at the connection string. So as you can see, while accessing it internally from within Agile Point NX portal, you can use the internal IP address so that you don't run into any, any security uh, settings. Here is your database name. <coughs> here is your username. And then there is an auto-generated password, which is different for every tenant. In addition to that, there is also it also specifies what is your default database schema. As For those of you who are familiar with uh, the database concepts, every database can be associated with a default schema. By default, uh, when, when you are doing it in your demo environments, you would have always selected DBO, which is not a, uh, as per the security best practices. So what we have done is, for every tenant, there is their own schema over here. Now, for those of you whose databases have been carried, uh, who were using these custom databases in past and have been carried over uh, to the trial tenants, you might still see DBA over here, but for any anyone who had not used this feature in past, you would see the name of your tenant would be most likely your default schema name, database schema name. And I'll show you how that comes into picture when I start connecting. Now, if I wanted to, as a developer, wanted to connect to uh, this database using my SQL Server Management Studio from outside of Agile Point NX portal, I would have to access it using a public IP address. So this is the public IP address of the database. It also comes in with additional security setting where not every IP address in the world can just access the database. We wanted to trim down the security for this. So it allow you what you will have to do is you will have to specify which IP addresses are allowed to access your database. So for example, this, it auto detects whatever is your IP address so and and you can just click on the plus button now in my case this is my office ip address which is already whitelisted on a server wide level because most of the users were connecting from agile point so i'm going to just just type something over here and click plus so you can see that it basically gives these ip addresses additional ip addresses access to my database so if you are registering from home network instead of the office network you might want to just come here it would show your home ip address by default you can just click plus over here okay, what you will see over here is there is also an additional note which says when browsing your database using sql server management studio you won't be able to see the listing of the tables in the tree view explorer in sql server management studio this is done due to privacy reasons because if an account uh, this, this is one of the limitations in sql server that if an account is given permission to see the listing it will show you the listing of all the databases in in uh, in the sql server even if you do not have access to it so when you click on it it will tell you that it uh, access denied to that database but unnecessarily it would have shown the names of all the customer databases to others 
which we didn't want to happen and that is pretty common in a, any cloud environment as well so what what uh, cloud-based database as well so you will have to write queries you cannot use the design time tools uh, to do that okay so this this is an inherent limitation in the SQL server so what I'm going to do is and it also tells you that before writing any query you have to write use and your database name so that the uh, database commands you are executing are within the context of your your uh, database only which you have access to so I'm going to copy the public IP address I'm going to open my SQL Server Management Studio so once it is open I'll go ahead and paste that in the server name and select SQL Server Authentication copy my username and password so it's sunrise 3 over here and the password from my connection string so it tells you if you go back to the string it will say please refer to the information included in the database connection string over here for getting the credentials right so I'm copying the credentials from there and click connect So as you can see I was able to connect because my IP address was whitelisted if I don't whitelist my IP address it will not connect right so if, uh, if, if that being the case I'll have to add my IP address over here right now this is where I was saying if I expand the databases it will not show me the listing of the databases in the tree view explorer because of security reason else it would have listed every other customers database as well even if you did not have access to it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say new query and I'm going to switch to one of my notepads over here I'm going to first paste my use statement so this is this is the name of my database if you remember over here I copied it from there and then I start typing my my SQL statements so I can I can create a table so I'm going to copy this over and I'm going to create a very simple table and insert few rows into it as well as you can see I decided to qualify that with the name of my database schema so if you see Sunrise 3 was my database schema so I explicitly did that now I could have avoided it if I don't include it the the table would end up in my database schema called sunrest3 anyways because that is my default schema as well but as a best practice I always include my database schema over here so if you can see it is creating a table called customer order and then inserting few rows into it right so let's go ahead and execute this so my table got populated now I'm going to switch back to my process designer form designer over here now I'm going to just show you how quickly this can be used from within Agile Point NX. So the, while connecting to SQL Server Management Studio, I was using the outside Agile Point NX uh, credentials. I'm going to drag and drop a data grid. Go to configure, look up list, click on the plus button. I'm going to select database. Now I don't have an access token defined right now. I'm going to say add new. Just call it demo or something. My database type is of type SQL Server. Now remember this is my from within Agile Point NX. So I'm going to use my internal IP. My database name. Username. password and if I click test connection it connects successfully so let's go ahead and click done I'm just going to give it a name a multi column lookup it asks me now this is a new functionality you guys might have seen that you can even query tables outside of DBO schema which was pretty limiting previously in SU1 we started supporting custom schemas as well it shows me the 
the available schemas which I can use and I'm going to select Sunrise 3 which, which was my default schema under which the customer order table was created and I'm going to say just bring down everything. Then I'm going to expand it across three columns, give it a little bit more space and quickly do a preview. And as you can see, the data is coming from my database. So in this video, just to summarize, we saw that using uh, the new information which is available in the tenant settings area, uh, how you can connect to it using SQL Server Management Studio and create, uh, create uh, uh, your own database tables, populate data, and then using the uh, access token, how you can connect to it within, within your Agile Point Linux portal. All the information is, is over here. Just make sure that you whitelist your IP address. It comes with a security feature. Everything is locked down by default to, to your database. So you do have to add your home or office IP address wherever you are accessing it from as, uh, for, for connecting from SQL Server Management Studio.